guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be finally sitting down and filming this video for you guys. I've been developing these sunglasses with Vo for like eight months now or something. I was trying to be like semi sneaky and drop clues on like my Instagram and my Instagram stories and YouTube for the past like four months so that I was doing this project and they started out being really sly and then I just got way too excited. So I was like wearing all my sunglasses and wearing everything. My clues became really, really obvious. I've come out with my own eyewear collection with Vo. I'm obsessed with sunnies. I think it's like an Australian thing. I'm always in sunglasses, whether it's summer or winter. I just really love them to accessorize my wardrobe. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all four options that I came up with, including the name and the little features. Without further ado, I think we should just get into probably my favorite pair of the entire collection, which is called Summer Gypsy. So Summer Gypsy comes in two different versions. It comes in a gold and a black. This is probably the one you've seen the most on my Insta stories and even my Instagram pictures. So this is a shiny gold. I prefer shiny gold because I feel like it looks a bit more expensive and a little bit more luxurious. Oh, I just love them so much. So it has the SD Times Vogue logoing on the actual lens. And one thing I was really pedantic about was making sure the lens was actually black. One thing I hate is when I get like black lenses and they're see-through and you can see my eyeballs. I wonder how it is with this like big filming light. They're all true black lenses. So they're not like see-through awkward gray color, if that makes sense. I think the reason I've been wearing this the most lately is because it's summer here in Australia and it's really tropical. And I feel like these are like very vacation holiday vibes. Hence why they're called summer gypsies. So I sort of tried to think about like a festival vibe summary with your friends having a picnic by the beach. This is what I would wear. And then my personal favorite detail. It has my little Sarah's Day logo debossed in the arm. And then we just went for the little clear ear loop. So we went through so many sampling rounds and made sure it was like the right weight. The hinges are right. It feels expensive. It's not too heavy. It's sturdy. They're not going to break in your bag. So yeah, these have gone through a lot of sampling and I'm so, so happy with how they've turned out. And then just because I loved the vibe and the style of Summer Gypsy so much, I convinced them to let me bring out one more option of it, which is matte black. The major differences is that this little earpiece here is matte black, summer gypsy gold, they're clear. I feel like these ones are super, super summery and these ones trans-seasonal, I suppose. It's like, I just want to wear them forever with everything. I don't really take a lot of crazy chances with my eyewear because if I buy something super crazy, I wear it once and then never again. So I really tried to design things that you could have in your wardrobe forever. You're going to love forever until you accidentally leave them at a cafe because I do that all the time. So yeah, I love the black summer gypsy. I suppose they're a little bit more sophisticated. I love the cut of these so much. And then my last actual sunglasses option of the collection is called Secret Admirer. And I'm pretty sure Kurt actually helped me come up with this name because with each name, I try to think like, who is this for? Where are you wearing it? These ones are matte black as well, by the way. Do you think these ones are just like a little bit more fancy than the summer gypsy? I don't know. Do I like think too much into eyewear? I don't know. If I really like my outfit, Fit and I feel like, yeah, I look put together and it's all going together. I'll wear my secret admirers. The people who look intimidating, you know, they're so black that I feel like if your crush was standing across the road, you could totally check him out and just stare at him for hours and he wouldn't even know. So these are like your stalking glasses. I'm not promoting stalking, but you know what I mean. Just like staring at your crush at the beach but they don't know it. So these ones are matte black as well. Like I said, I love matte black and these have like a thicker arm to it. Then they have the double bridge on the nose, which I think they just look extra fashionable. So excited they're matte black because Vogue actually had a very similar pair to this in gloss, but they didn't have a double bridge. So I was showing them, I love these sunglasses of yours. However, I wish they were matte. I think they look a lot more expensive and luxurious and I just really like matte black. So they were like, yeah, let's make your own version. So we kind of used that as the inspo and then tweaked it. And these are called Sissy Work because I'm always working in them. So these ones are actually blue light glasses. And you guys know I'm like the most sensitive sleeper ever. I have to have night shift mode on my phone. I pretty much can't look at my screen before I'm going to bed. So I loved the idea of blue lights. I'm not gonna try and go into like a really tech savvy explanation of why blue light is so amazing, but essentially it's going to help block out that blue light on your screen from your phone or your computer. And it kind of has like an orange haze. So right now it all looks normal, but when you look at your screen, it's not like super blue and bright. So if you're working late at night or even, they 
actually say you should do it all the time so it doesn't mess up. I think it's melatonin in your body. So now, especially with all of my editing and emails, like I'm on the computer a lot. I will just have a pair of these. I have like three pairs because I'm obsessed with them. But I have a pair of these next to my computer on my desk. And before I even open up my computer, I throw these on. And I actually feel like I've had better sleep, even though I'm 32 weeks pregnant and my belly is preventing me sleeping my eyeballs and my brain aren't. And I'm not gonna lie, I think they look so cool. I've been like wearing them up to get coffee and like wearing them out and about. And, oh my gosh, I nearly forgot to tell you guys, if you do have prescription glasses, we've actually made these so that they're like optometrist friendly, so they tick all the requirements. So you can actually take this to your glasses shop or your optometrist and they can take the blue light lenses out and put your specific lenses in. So like if you have a prescription lens or like me, you can just leave them as the blue light ones. But I'm so happy that we got that option. So these ones are baby pink front and the arms and then on the side you need like detail in the inside metal part and we made that like a really nice rose gold so just like really subdued and simple. Every single piece comes in this custom glasses box so it's baby pink obviously it's like my colour. It says Vo and Sarah's Day and when you open up the glasses are inside and it also comes with this little cleaning cloth and that also says my name. And that says Vo and Sarah's Day as well. And I travel a lot. So I like hard ones that aren't like super bulky, but do a good job at actually protecting my sunglasses that I've spent money on. And I like that this one doesn't have a clip or anything. It's just a magnet. So and it's like felt on the inside, so it's gonna protect them even more. So I purposely got this video up a day early. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, if you're a little bit confused, Vo Eyewear is actually a part of White Fox Boutique, so Vo is like White Fox's exclusive eyewear range. So yeah, anyway, these are going live on the 31st of January on whitefoxboutique.com. I literally spent two weeks on these Instagram images. I went out and I scattered locations, and I found cool outfits. I booked Kurt in to do the shoot with me because he was super busy, and I'm so happy with how the photos turned out so even that it was like so much fun normally my campaigns have like a lot of people and models and with this one it was just Kurt and I and it was just like I don't know it was a nice bonding time so I'm really excited for you guys to see the photos on Instagram as well because I'm really proud of them but yeah if I've forgotten anything I'll put it on the screen or I'll put it in the description box below but I really really hope you guys like what I've created with Vo I'm so excited and I just can't wait to hear your reaction when it goes live tomorrow talk to you guys later bye